Hello, this is Blue Student Tutors, and today I'd like to show you how to create a screencast using the app Explain Everything, which you can find in the App Store. Explain Everything is essentially a slideshow that allows you to add your voiceover and animation to each slide. To begin with, you will tap the button in the upper left corner to create a project. So, suppose I'm making a screencast about implicit differentiation, which is a topic uh, in introductory calculus. I'll first set up my cover slide like this. Notice I put both tutors in the corner, which is required for all videos on our channel. And then I hit the little red button below, which will start the recording. Hello, this is Bullets and Tutors, and today I'd like to talk about implicit differentiation. If you want to replay the recording, click on the time button on the right, and move the slider to a place you want to start, and hit the gray arrow. Hello, this is Bullets and Tutors, and today I'd like to talk about implicit differentiation. If you don't like the later part of your voiceover and you want to redo it, you can move the slider to an appropriate time and hit the red button to override the recording after that time with new recordings. This is a redo of the recording. And let's see how it goes. This is a redo of the recording. Awesome. Not only you can record your voiceover, but you can also add animation to the objects that are on your slide. For example, if I want to move my title around, I can do that while the recording is in progress. Or I can create an arrow that points to the title or anything like that. I'll finish the recording and the recording will look like this. And that concludes the recording of the title page of our screencast. And since we want to move forward with a new slide, click the plus sign located on the lower left, which will create a new slide. And you can switch from slide to slide using the arrow buttons. There are many ways you can put information on your slide, but the two functionalities you mainly rely on are typing and writing. For typing, you simply tap on the button on the left that reads A and click on your slide. And after that, a text box is created that allows you to input your information. So, say I want to mimic the font on a chalkboard. I'll first highlight the text in the text box. Make sure you do the highlighting before you switch the options and then choose from the font menu an appropriate font. And here it goes. You can also switch the color using a button that looks like a pencil tip on the lower left. And then to change the size, If you create a text box and turn to do other things, so suppose I'm just drawing stuff right here, the text box will no longer be under focus and you will not be able to type in more information. You can bring the text box under focus again by switching to the hand tool uh, in the toolbar and tap on the text box twice. To get rid of a text box you don't want, click on the X button on the left toolbar. Right here. Um, click on the text box and click on the red X that pops up. Uh, 
Another way to present your information is by writing. To do this, simply click on the pencil or the marker tool in the toolbar and start drawing. As you draw, a sub-menu will pop up, which allows you to switch to eraser, which is, which is the first option of the sub-menu, and that allows you to partially erase what you just draw. If you want to delete a large patch of drawing, you can use the same X button, which we just used before, uh, that will remove the drawing as a whole. If you want to change the thickness of your lines, you tap on the pen button again, and that will allow you to change the thickness. And of course, you can change the color of your pen by using the same pencil tip button. I prefer writing over typing because it is a little clumsy if you record and type at the same time. And plus, it is usually hard to format with typing complex math symbols such as an integral sign or the big sigma for summation. So if you have this special formatting requirements or if you want to record a step-by-step -step uh, procedure and you want your audience to follow you closely, you should be writing instead of typing. But if you want to create a static title on each page, typing it into a text box is probably the better option. Say you have some pictures that you want to include in your slide. You should first save it to your local album, and then click on the plus button on the left, and hit assistant image slash video. You can then select the image from the album, you can rotate it, or crop it however you like. And when you're done, hit done, and the image is then added to the slide. Make sure that you add a link to the picture to ensure that you are citing the source properly. After you are done with the recording of your screencast, you can hit the button on the lower right corner with an arrow pointing out from a box. Hit video, and then photos. This will render the entire screencast into a video and save it to the local album. And after that, you are done with your very first screencast. I hope you find this video helpful, and again, this is Bolo Student Tutors. I'll see you next time.